dreams firmly. Let's get the views now of primary school head teacher Beatrix Simpson, who's in North London this morning. Uh, I mean, these figures are pretty shocking, Beatrix. What is going wrong? Why are we failing our children in this way? Well, we, be we believe the children are really need to learn maths, and maths is vitally important to their future economic well-being. So at George Eliot Primary School, we ensure that we teach an hour daily numeracy lesson, but we also have booster classes, we have one-to-one -one tuitions to support our children, and intervention programs throughout the day. We also have many activities, uh, such as young enterprise activity when the children uh, take part in school events and uh, they, they sell products that they decide to purchase, budget, work out the cost and work out the profit margin. Uh, mathematicians of the week, uh, we also take part in um, a young mathematician um, uh, award and that's organised by Enrich and uh, Cambridge University and our children take part in competitions like that. Beatrix, is, that. is that the important part of this then? making children, young people, adults as well, proud of numeracy. And one of the most shocking things about this report in one respect is that many people almost seem to see a lack of numeracy as a, a badge of honor, or at the very worst case, people just aren't bothered by it. I, I think that this is about confidence in numeracy. And what we are doing in our school is make sure the children are confident learners, that every lesson is fun and it's exciting. I think confident young adults uh, then can enter the, the, the world market and, and work market and be um, successful. Uh, we have teamwork, perseverance and very challenging tasks for our children and therefore they just fully able to participate um, in all the activities um, in their future life. But we also support parents. We found out that many parents lack their math skills, exactly what you're saying in today's report, and they're not very confident in supporting their children. So we organize training sessions for parents, uh, very interactive sessions, when we allow them to work out the sums, and then we show them the right way, or support them, or show them different ways of working out the sums. And therefore, the parents then gain confidence and can support the children. It's all about enjoyment, fun, and being confident user of maths and, and being able to apply it in daily life. Just a, a brief thought. I mean, obviously, a lot of people looking at this and saying, you know, but in a world of modern technology, calculators on every smartphone, you know, do we need this level of mental arithmetic that people want us to have? I mean, is there a case, do you think, of saying, you know, certainly in schools and at a young age, calculators, all that need to be kept out of the classroom, back to learning by rote, and making sure everything is done mentally, the kids are really getting it into their skull. I think there's a case for everything. Mental maths is absolutely vital and is very important. And we teach children daily uh, sessions in mental maths. Uh, and it's across the whole school, and especially 10 to 11 year olds. As you know, mental maths is part of also SATS exams. Uh, and the children need to know strategies, not just one strategy, but many strategies to be able to, to work out the answer. But I think technology is really important in modern world now. We use something um, called active expressions. Uh, when we have 30 devices, one per child, uh, the children use them during um, excellent maths lessons. They participate in class, the teacher can see the results on the board, there's no child left behind, we know the answers, and the teacher can take their learning forward. So I think there is a space for calculators and, and, and devices, um, such as um, active expressions, but everything needs to be really combined together, and the children need to be able to problem solve and work out the best strategy and the best way to come up with the answer that will allow them to do their banking, purchasing, uh, working out directions, all these areas of maths that are needed in daily life. Yeah, it's set them up for a, a, a full and active life ahead. Beatrix Simpson, really good to get your views on that this morning. Thank you. Mm. Well, great. Thank you very much. Refreshing view there, Jackie, isn't it? Get everything yeah, mixed in together. Some of the things they do in maths now are just brilliant. It's a very worrying day for some um, children and their